Hey subscribers and new viewers or viewers who have been watching me already. Okay, that's kind of confusing. But look, I'm wearing shorts today. It looks so awkward on me. Look at my leg. It looks so dead. I look like a vampire. But it has nothing to do with the video. Uh, I'm going to review two guys. Oh, I'm going to review this guys for you today. Batman issue 21. Start off with zero year. A great story. And let's get to it. Um, I had to write down notes because... I made a review of it earlier and it took so long it was just like I just had to write down notes. So yeah, here's my notebook Lord gave me. I'll basically tell you guys what like what I liked and some cool stuff. But yeah. Oh yeah, but uh this comic is basically like a sequel or like a follow up to Batman issue zero from the zero month. So yeah, you guys should probably read that first so you guys know what's happening with the whole Red Hood game. Basically Bruce is still after them and yeah. Uh, there's some cool stuff in this comic. There's like an early grapple gun prototype, which is really fucking cool. Because it shows like he's been using that throughout his whole crime fighting career, which is pretty cool. And um, it's pretty cool how like Bruce Wayne came back, but he hasn't told anyone he's alive because he's been missing for seven years. So he's basically uh, declared dead. And he hasn't really came back to tell them like he's alive. He came back to like do the right, fix this city, beat up people, and yeah, be Bruce Wayne. I mean, be Batman. But yeah, it's pretty cool. He's basically like, on a one man mission. Stop crying. And it's pretty cool. And like there's like this Red Hood game. But the cool thing about the Red Hood game, they're they're really uh like like people who are blackmailed to be in the game. If you're not in the game, they're gonna blackmail you. So basically like some of these members are like forced to be in the game to like kill people and like do some criminal stuff. And yeah, there's pretty cool stuff in this. And there's like um like some flashbacks when Bruce was young and like his dad asks him like why do you what do you love about the city? The thing that I love about this uh part was like the thing I love about Superman is, like, when he has conversations with his dad, um, John and Kent, not his dad, jor -El, I love having, like, Superman talk to his dad. It's like, Superman's cool and all. He can, like, pull off cool fights and cool stories, but when he's talking to his dad, I think that's one of the coolest things about Superman, when he's just being regular Clark Kent. So I think that's pretty cool. And, like, we kind of get, like, this flashback of, like, Bruce and um, Thomas Wayne talking when they are young. So that was pretty cool. And, like... Thomas Wayne shows him, like, this the device that has, like, a, a camera in there, and when you, like, shake it or something, you, it's like a virtual map pops out, and that's pretty cool, and, um, yeah, there's this other cool part, too, where, like, Bruce is, like, hanging, like, a bat, trying on these, like, new, like, electro shoes, bond thing, but it's pretty cool, he's, like, hanging in front of the wall, looking, like, from some Spider-Man shit, and, yeah, and then there's, there's, this, oh, there's this one funny thing, too, because, like, Bruce is, like, he, he hasn't been Batman yet, so, like, he's wearing masks still. So, like, basically, he's wearing, like, masks of people's face. And there's, like, a mask of, like, a black guy. So, I thought that was pretty funny. Like, who's gonna believe that guy is black when he has, like, white hands? So, that's pretty funny that Bruce has that. And, like, it's pretty cool, too, because, like, Bruce Wayne is wearing his hat with a Robin logo, which they never really explained what was the purpose of this. And, yeah, a lot of other stuff. Oh, yeah, and basically, uh... Bruce Wayne, like, basically tells Alfred, like, I'm on a one-man mission, let me do it. Like, before he, like, leaves... Oh, yeah, because his house is in Crime Alley right now, so I guess he can be, like, closer to the crime. So, like, when he leaves his house, his uncle pops up saying, like, Bruce Wayne, there you are! We thought you were dead for seven years. How do I know that following Alfred will lead me to you being really alive? So, basically, like, uh, Philip, his uncle Philip, drives him to Wayne Tower to show, like, his, his new building and stuff, and, and, like, he basically wants Bruce Wayne to run the company to make it look good, because having a Wayne run the company is good, because, uh, uh, uh Philip, uh, uh, Philip's family, the Canes, are known for, like, some, like, scandals and stuff, and, like, controversial stuff, but, yeah, it was pretty cool, and, um, I'll, I'll get to, uh, yeah, that's basically, but, um, he basically wants him to run the company to make it look good, but Bruce Wayne's like, I haven't come back here to run the, com run the company, because he really just wants to fight crime, but, yeah. Basically, in the end, to spoil it for you guys, uh, Riddler's in there, I guess, like, Riddler's hel uh, helping out Uncle Philip. so I guess, like, their plan kind of feels like he wants him to, like, I guess, like, um, Uncle Philip is really dealing under the table, selling guns to criminals, because I think he's part of the Red Hood game, and it kind of feels like the whole Iron Man 1 plot where, like, uh, What's his name? Obadiah is like selling weapons and stuff. So it kind of feels like Iron Man 1, just to let you guys know. And in the end, there's like a cool backup story. This backup story is like one of the best things about the comic because, like, remember, I guess like throughout the seven years Bruce Wayne's missing, like, I guess like they're filling in the gaps. Like, what did he do between those seven years? So I guess like it shows him at age 19 in Rio de Janeiro, uh, Rio de Janeiro Brazil. And this thing feels like Fast and the Fierce. I swear to God, like Fast and Fierce 5. Basically, him and his guy Miguel are like on a run from the cops because they stole like this weapon. And like this guy, Don Miguel, is like trying to teach like Bruce Wayne how to get away from cops and stuff. So basically how he gets away from cops, he has like gadgets in his cars. Like stuff to like, sh like shoot out wires. So like um cars can like 
like the police cars can flip over them so he can get away. So basically, that's pretty cool because like kind of seems like he got like ideas from the Batman deal from this guy basically. Like later on in the future, he's like, "Hey, remember that one guy, Don Miguel? He has cool stuff in the car. Maybe I can get a, a Batmobile or something." So yeah, maybe he got the idea from the Batmobile from this Miguel guy. But it's pretty cool. It kind of feels like Fast and Furious, but basically before um. This Don Miguel guy, uh, before he kills the cops with the gun they stole, Bruce is like, no, I had enough of this. So he basically like crashes into the wall, kicks this guy's ass, say like, sorry, but I had to do this. So I was like, he basically used this Don Miguel guy to teach him like how to like, like teach him like how to run away from cops and stuff. And he basically used them basically to, he basically used them. But that's pretty cool how like Bruce Wayne was working with a criminal just to like learn off him. So that's pretty cool. You want to learn off a criminal just to be like the man you are later on, Batman. But yeah, it's a pretty uh, stellar, cool issue, and I can't believe I just said stellar. But yeah, you guys should definitely check out Batman Zero here. It's a good start for the whole event, and you guys definitely need to check this out. I don't know if you guys say it, if I need to say that any more times, but yeah. Uh, by the way, I like to thank um, Full Screen for like giving me my partnership. I really appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate you guys giving me a chance, because like, no one wants to give me a chance, and I, I appreciate you guys for that. So thank you, Full Screen, and thank you, viewers, and yeah, just like the video.